Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, it's all whether you are here to stay or passing all right, through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Were you the only ones on that train? Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here, in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or Passing through on your way to parts unknown. Welcome to City 17. It's safe in here. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or to been go chosen on. to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much. I see they took City your suitcase too. They can't get away with this much longer. Establish my administration here. In the but they never arrive. So and the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City Center. It's safe in here. Must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else.
legacy for this. Now. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff and get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. fit to suppress our reproductive cycle. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for writing me, concerned. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological needs. As a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has caused a of thinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural I don't know pieces. about you, but I'm ready to join I'm civil protection just to get a decent meal. Like these, to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe. You gotta be damn hungry to wait in line for this crap. We hardened our sticks, cooked our first meals of our meat and fire, and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern wall. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulse. And today, we clearly see its true nature. Instead, we have become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down to a bloody fight. Instead, we have inflicted a fatal injury on our species. Instead, it's a cruel present and bids us rise up against it. Instead, tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct 
weeks, and the conversion compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be expunged. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basis of human urges, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exercised our wounds in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us purpose. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing will be also detect some unspoken questions. Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us breed again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concern, rather than try to answer every possible question. <laughs> If I talk to you out here, we'd both be in trouble. starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one.
In fact, you're a cop. He's one of us. Look at him down there. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Attention, residents. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your civil protection team. for ration reward. 
Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. Here they come! Run for your life! Civil protection! Get in here, quick! <laughs> 